This is a wonderful story. It just, it's just amazing. I love this story. I love it. Because it, it is the perfect... Oh, there's so many of these, so it's not actually the, per, the perfect. But let's get right Some to it. Some of them are the perfect, but go ahead. That's true. The imperfect encapsulating of what I was... That's what yes, I was, that was the full... I understand. Uh, yeah. You might have heard of that uh, main Zumba madam, Alexis Wright. She's the, uh, the woman who was paying, who was, uh, being paid for, but she's basically being paid for sex, running a brothel out of her uh, Zumba studio. <laughs> Zumba is apparently some sort of, uh, some sort of exercise regimen Don't lie, or you do it. I honestly, when I hear Zumba, actually, what I think of, those old, like, Mid those pants that were really popular in the mid nineties, those zoom zoombies right, or right, zumbas. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking. That's about. what I think of when I see Zumba. So you think of like kid and play. I, I think of those crazy yeah. patterned pants. I understand. Um, so anyway, uh, just last week, this past Thursday, da Donald Forden was found guilty of engaging a prostitute, and was ordered to pay a five hundred dollar fine plus a hundred and ten dollars in court fees. Obviously, engaging a prostitute, this was part of the... Uh, this Zumba studio was really a Zumba. brothel. Yes. And so basically, in this small town in Maine, this woman set up a Zumba exercise studio, and what it really was was it was this, like, large... She wasn't just doing, like, a thing or two on the side. She had secret video cameras. She... They, they basically... In fact, yeah. the prosecutors yeah. were able to... 68 Johns were charged with the crime. Right. But so far, he's been the second and the only person... To not have been acquitted, so he's been the second person brought up on the tri for trial, and he's the first person acquitted. And now who was not been acquitted, and he received the he he was found guilty. And the reason they found him guilty was because they showed Skype screenshots of him having sex with uh, Miss Wright. Sure. Now, what makes this interesting, and why this isn't just some you know a oh, poor guy, you know what's the big deal? He paid for sex. This this shouldn't be illegal. Some people might think of you know. Or what she does shouldn't be illegal. I don't think so. I actually don't. Th I don't think so. But anyway, why this is a big deal is because Mr. Donald Forden is a staunch and also married advocate of Christian family values. He has donated one thousand dollars to anti-gay marriage groups just this past fall. Forden's involvement with family values causes, according to Gawker, were first reported. Uh, and uh, according to state records, in October 2012, roughly one year after he paid for sex with Miss Wright, <laughs> Forden donated $1,000 to Protect Maine Marriage, a Christians for Traditional Marriage organization that fought for the 2012 that fought the 2012 legislation. Excuse me, that eventually legalized gay marriage in Maine through his company Diamond Developments of Maine LLC. <laughs> Forden also donated $350 to Garrett Mason, a conservative state senator opposed to gay marriage. And Forden Construction, Inc., another company owned by Forden, bills itself as a Christian family-owned company online. Uh, while Forden was found guilty of engaging a prostitute and only pays a $610 fine, uh, right, the Zumba, mat the Zumba madam will be serving 10 months in jail uh, after pleading to 14 prostitution charges and six other misdemeanors. I, I guess the, the, the larger charge for her is because it's, it's just simply more legal to be a woman and, and sully a good Christian man. <laughs> <laughs> those those anti-gay types oh, man. go real hard. Oh, man. I mean, I just – I think it is really funny on I the like, level that, that like – I like – that was a good uh, – that yeah, was a nice I, pun there. Yeah. <laughs> no need to highlight it. I'm not proud of it, but I did it. I, but it is funny, man. Like I, I just – growing up, you know, around people that weren't religious fundamentalists and don't have a problem with – you know, they aren't – gay people aren't icky. They don't hate women and like – I, you know, look, I don't know what – all I'm saying is in, in, like, liberal college towns and stuff, there aren't, like, you know, they don't tend to be massive prostitution rings. That's all I'm saying. No. No. I, I'm at the point now where it's, like, as soon as someone comes out publicly and just says something about, you know, being anti-gay, I'm, I'm, I'm like, where's the bathroom? Where's the madam's number? What's the fetish? <laughs> Those are my three questions. <laughs>